What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski and I'm back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video And in today's video I am bringing you guys yet another team breakdown of uh, Versing the new ambush event the ambush young whitebeard event now uh, I actually recorded this team first before yesterday's video But I really wanted to showcase the time skip Luffy team which was uh, the video that you guys would have seen yesterday And in today's video I am using the crocodile team now This is probably going to be the most popular team that I know a lot of people are going to be running for this event because this team just works like this team is just very very effective in actually taking down young whitebeard because it has a really good answer to stage four uh, which is one of the most difficult stages of the entire dungeon and it also can clear out young whitebeard in a single turn so definitely uh, you know this team is very very effective however <clears throat> there are a couple of different variations that I know a lot of people are doing and the main variation that I've seen is that as you can see I am using treble on this team now I know that some people do decide to use uh, the CP9 Rare Recruit Khalifa, the Quick Khalifa, uh, which is actually a really solid option. And the way that that team works is that when you reach the Young Whitebeard stage, you want to go ahead and use Khalifa turn 1, and then one of your Crocodiles on turn 1 just deal as much damage as possible. And with Khalifa, she'll actually go ahead and just negate every single bit of damage that you would have taken in that first turn. So that actually works really, really well. So you just do a bunch of damage first turn, you take a hit, and then you go ahead and then burst down on turn 2 hoping that you deal enough damage to him. Uh, the way that this team works though is because now that you have treble, you have two int units on your team, uh, so you actually have enough damage output to completely one turn kill young whitebeard, which is really, really effective. Now, as I said before, uh, this team actually has a really, really good answer to stage four, and that is the Nico Robin, because she'll go ahead and deal a thousand fixed damage. Now, all of the stage four characters have uh, 10 HP, so having just a character that does fixed damage is super, super useful. Also, because she knocks you down your HP down to one, so that helps out with your crocodiles of course and then when you actually reach young white bit it's very very simple just go ahead use your heracles and your Doe Flamingo, which will, which will basically give you a full board of matching orbs and uh, give you two times orb boost as well and then you've got your crocodile to go ahead and give you two times attack boost so this team is actually very very effective uh, it is kind of uh, it is kind of a little bit risky because this team, if you do not hit your perfects, like even if one unit hits a great, I believe you do not take down Young Whitebeard. And I believe this team actually does require to have Max Cotton Candy on your Crocodiles and your Doflamingo in order to secure the one hit kill. So, you know, it is very risky, but as long as you are hitting your perfects, you'll have 100% no issue with this team whatsoever. And as I said, go ahead and use all my specials here, and I am able to actually one-shot Young Whitebeard. This team is very, very effective and really, really useful. But anyways, that's going to end this video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you guys did, make sure to smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.